it is finally time to dye my hair. Like we have been talking about this in the comments for so long. So Halloween hair time. I put my nail stickers on. I tried to get as festive as I could with my face and my jewelry. So if this is your first time here, we just did all kinds of stuff to my hair. We did color remover, bleached it, whatever. Uh, and then we just cut my bangs and now it's time for us to dye my hair. So I'll go ahead and link those recent videos below in case you want to catch up. But those videos have actually been pretty in depth, you know, like with the color theory and this and that. Um, so this is just going to be like a fun, relaxing, like let's play with color day, you know? So not too long ago, we swatched underground cosmetics and it was awesome. And I haven't used it yet. I've been specifically waiting to use it for today. I didn't have black in their colors yet. But we also swatched the Lunar Tides Eclipse Black. And um, so I've been saving all these. I haven't used any of these on my actual hair, but we did do swatching. So I'll link that video down below too if you want. So these are the Underground Cosmetics. And this is the purple. And so they had two different greens. They had a green and a chartreuse. So one's just like a super lime. And this one's just like more green. I was looking at what would look best, you know, with the purple. And as much as I like it with like the lime, I almost feel like I have to go traditional neon green because it's going to fade to that anyways, or it's going to fade to a lighter green anyways, too light. And I thought about adding some of that into this green, but I'm like, no, I think let's just go straight up, just straight up neon green. Here's the plan. I, this is my general idea. And then I'm just going to kind of wing it. Right. So I'm thinking orange hot roots, right? And these are all black light except for the black. So. That'll be cool. So I'm thinking orange roots, right? And then one side, I'm going to have that fade into neon green and then into black. And then the other side fading into purple and black. And then I'm thinking of doing my bangs like orange coming down from the roots and then doing black on the tips there. I haven't decided quite yet how much my bangs. I'm thinking it would be kind of cool to keep these kind of pieces here and do like a bigger bang section and keep that all here and have this all be the rest of the colors coming down. That's the plan. Let's do this. Super pumped. And thanks for being here, man. Let's color some hair. All right, here's our sectioning. It's kind of crazy, but basically I'm going to do the bangs last and we're going to start on this side and do the orange and green and also all the black last because it's just going to be messy and so yeah i'm going to do the whole green side leave the bangs and then do the purple side next because that's also just a messier color and oh wait not this side first sorry this side first in the back it's also going to help me like match up where i want the black to be on this side because there's more purple and this is like more of a blank canvas over here so that's the plan and I'm having soda because treating myself, <laughs> even though it's going to hurt my stomach later. Honestly, I was outside letting the dogs out literally just a few minutes ago. I started like stress about just life stuff and stuff I can't control right now. In my head, it just kept popping up like, just hang on, just hang on a little longer, just hang on. So I felt like I would share that with you and tell you to just hang on. If you're going through anything or you're stressing about bills or life, just hang on. So let's dye my hair. I'm going to move the camera over there so you can kind of see me do the back. And then we'll come over here and hang out and do the front. So let's do this. I'm procrastinating. I got those nervous, nervous, excited butterflies. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm just so excited that I'm finally doing my hair. Watch, it's like, it's just a minor, minor stroke. All right, let's do this. So I'm starting at the lower back and doing this whole section orange because the undercut's growing out. And then I'm just going to do little black tips on the very end. So right here, I put a piece of foil as a barrier in between where I'm going to start with the green and that bottom section. I'm not only doing this because the orange and green are going to be tricky to make sure that they don't bleed into each other, but also because I'm going to be doing the black hair dye on the ends. And this is going to help keep everything sectioned out for that. I hadn't decided what was easier yet, foil or the mesh sheets, so that's why I'm just kind of alternating. But the idea is the same. I think you can see how I'm sectioning and just making sure to keep it all separated. I'm not going to lie, now that my hair is getting longer, it is getting so much harder to get those end pieces back there. It's crazy. 
I also had this all previously sectioned where you can see like that color track comb in the front. Um, that really, really helped sectioning everything that way. I'm already starting to get worn out from this. So another nice thing about the foils and the way I have it is I was able to take more breaks and move around the house um, and not have to worry about getting color or anything, not have to worry about it drying out. Usually when I do my hair, my ends end, out, end up drying out the fastest. So it was worth the extra time. Questioning life's decisions right about now. Back pain. I have a nail sticker in my hair right here. Oh my god, my arms are so tired. <sighs> okay, so here I'm just finishing up the same exact process on the rest of this corner. And that's about it. Nothing new or fancy there. Not me leaning my hand on my hip just to stay standing. <laughs> this, seriously, my shoulders still hurt while I'm editing this. I kid you not. Here I'm just lightly pressing my finger to kind of blend the two colors together as I go to. Um, and then later I'll go back and do it again once the color is kind of set a little more just to help with the blending. And we're done. Break time. I finished all the back. I'm going to actually work on this front part in this mirror and finish like the green and orange side, which is good because oh, I was having a real hard time. i been real nauseous too, so. Like, yeah, I need to sit down rest my arms. Let's do the front. The trickiest thing is that, you know, the orange and the green, like, cancel each other out. So it's hard just trying to basically make sure to have those not blend onto each other. And another reason that I'm doing the black last is I noticed a lot of times when I did my ends, they would dry out so bad. So I'd rather wait till last for that. And instead of working from the bottom up this way, I'm just going to put, like, plastic and just move the hair over this way. Because, yeah, I need to sit down. This is going to be orange roots anyway, so I don't have to worry about, like, the roots right here bleeding. Just the green getting onto the other side. I messed up my frame arm. Oh, what a waste. I'll still use it somehow. Oh, my eye. I'm constantly wiping my hands on a towel, try not to mix it all up. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> Okay, so we started with the orange roots, and I'm going to go back the other direction, working my way down to the top with the green. Uh, I just thought it would be easier that way. And I do wish I would have used mesh for some of this, uh, just because you can wash them and reuse them. I just kind of slow these parts down so you guys can see kind of the method to my madness. Uh, as far as what techniques I'm trying to do here. I figure when it's going really fast, you can't see some of this stuff. So The blending was really hard for me on this, especially because of how I was looking at it in the mirror and just the glare and just, you know, having bad eyes. So definitely a little difficult uh, from this angle. I almost feel like the hollow prism hair was easier than this, to be honest with you. <laughs> But you know me, I was pushing myself. I'm still leaving the ends out, as you can see, all over the entire head where I know I'm going to be putting the black later. So that's why you see all that hair sticking out of the front and in the back. And so, yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this until I get all the way to the top. And then we're going to move on to the back of the hair and start with the purple and the orange there. I also like to kind of brush up into it when I'm blending just to kind of give it more of like a natural fade instead of such a blunt line across. Okay. Somehow we just got that entire side done. I have no idea. So. Whee! 
All right, so I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did to this side to the back with the purple and the orange. I'll meet you guys back up here to do purple and orange in the front. I don't really have an angle that I can set it up over there for the back, but at least you guys saw the process I'll be doing, you know? So be back up here in just a second. My eyes are so bad. I need, a, I need an eye break. I'm going to go rest my eyes for like two minutes. I didn't see that one piece that needs green. <laughs> So I'm going to put green on that and then to the other side and see you in a second. Okay, so I did the orange roots on this side and now I'm putting the purple exactly how I did the green. Except for I'm using mesh sheets on this side. Um, like I said, because I can just wash them and reuse them. But also because they were just easier to work with for what I'm doing here. So here on this side, you can see I'm putting the purple while, uh, for the underneath. And then what I'm going to do is I flip it over and then continue adding it on that side. And then I just touch up the orange as I go to blend it. So I kind of fast forwarded it to here so you guys could kind of see. Couldn't see from the other side what I was doing. And here's where I feel like I can't do this anymore. S.O.S. No hope for me. Uh, should I have a snack? Would that help? No. And, uh, yep, so it looks like I'm just going to keep powering through it. Here I'm just doing that kind of brush technique to blend because it was a little difficult with that orange and purple blending too. Holy... Holy moly, I can't believe we're here right now. All that's left is the bangs and all the black. So this is a technique I'm going to use to do the black tips. I'm just going to use mesh and lay them back down and just do it that way. But I'm able to fit more than one section at a time on the piece of mesh sheet. It just depends on where the colors are going to lay on each other with the orange and green. Voila. And then I just did the same thing on the other side with the purple for the black ends. Just the back of the bangs now. We're almost there. I wish it wasn't so late so I could treat myself to a taco, even though I shouldn't. Yeah, right. I'm never supposed to have tacos. Delirious. We're almost there. Okay, this was crazy, so I just had to show you guys how I did the back. So, like, right here. So instead of how I did it up front and like kind of took everything out and kind of adjusted it on the mesh sheet, back here I left everything together or I left everything in their foils. I didn't like take them out and all I did was I just added a really long sheet at the end of the very bottom foil and then I put so that it was like all the way down, just kind of an extension of the foil. I made this an extension of the foil. And so then as I brought each section down with the foil, I was able to just paint the black from there and let it just kind of keep layering down here because everything that was inside of the foils is protected and any of the hair that's sticking out was going to be black anyway. So I was just able to keep, you can see there's like layers of foils right here. I was able to just keep overlapping and I only needed one mesh sheet at the bottom. So yeah, and then I, and since my hair was so long and I just couldn't reach it, it was like way too hard. I found that just tilting so I could bring it over and I was able to use my shoulder to paint everything down onto. And um, so yeah, so I'm really glad I figured that out. And I wanted to make sure I shared it with you guys because it made my life so much easier. <laughs> We're finally at the front. Got some Framar Funk. Bunked up film stuck.
Honestly, this part took for absolutely ever. I literally need like a tiny bit of orange, so I might mix their red and yellow together if I need to, but we'll see. It was super orangey on the swatch. My work? I think that'll work. Eh, close enough. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're done. <laughs> I'm gonna call it good. We're done here. <laughs> I had to use my regular hands. Like, it was so hard to pinpoint those little pieces in these gloves, you know? Here's our towel. Look at this, guys. You want to laugh? I forgot that this eyeshadow is UV reactive and I put like just a little bit here. Watch. Do you know how bad I scared myself when I walked in the hallway? What? <laughs> And the purple is UV too, because it's from Underground Cosmetics. Yeah, hope you laughed as hard as I did. Okay, this is it damp. I have all my products in it. It's looking pretty cool. It's, my hair looks terrible when it's wet. <laughs> Just want to give you guys a general idea of what we're working with while it's wet. I don't even know what's going on back here because I haven't looked yet. I'll see when it's dry. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. <laughs> ready? Boom! 
What do you think? I did just slightly use my Lang just a little bit um, because it was still kind of day one hair and my day one hair is just a little bit frizzy because all my waves and curls, but I love it. I'm super excited to do more styling. I really wanted you guys to just see it like right away. I might trim the ends just a little in a separate video since we just did all this hair cutting. I do think I should come in and just trim these up just a little, kind of even it out, but I think it turned out really great. And I also can't decide if I want to do black a little bit down here, but don't forget, I'm going to show you this in the black light too. I'm really excited about that. But here is our befores and afters. You can't see it because of my door. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I'm especially thinking like space buns or something. I was also thinking about doing like a really like super intense um, kind of Halloween makeover. I have like neon fake eyelashes, like UV and just all this stuff. I have like face tattoos for Halloween. Like I just have a bunch of random stuff from Timu. So I was thinking about just doing like a Timu Halloween kind of makeover and throwing it up Halloween morning for you guys just for fun. Um, and just to kind of do something fun and crazy with the hair and do some makeup to go with it. Oh my gosh, am I excited to see what you guys think. Definitely super rough on me. I also just really want to show you guys kind of, let me just part it too so you can kind of get an idea of that. Little bit of yellow where I didn't want to go too far up, but nothing bad. Just kind of rem still reminds me of Halloween, little candy corn action. I purposely brought the, bla the black, I purposely brought the black up to like my shoulders here just to hopefully kind of give it just the illusion while that undercut's growing out of just, you know, not being as thin down here. But I think I can tell even with that, yeah, I think we're gonna have to, maybe if we at least just cut just like this dead stuff off the bottom. I mean, but at the same time, it's kind of given me like anime hair and I love anime. So like, I'm also not like upset about it, but I don't want to mess with it too much. I'll show you guys it in the black light. My goodness, look how cute. Okay, this might be my favorite. Space buns would look sick. This is adorable. And I also purposely like colored these, like the first layer I did underneath, I did kind of like less, see like that. And then the next one I purposely went up so I could even use like mousse or texturizing stuff just to kind of give them a little bit more dimension. And I also did just do a little bit more point cutting. But now I'm really happy I did. This looks cool. I didn't see that yet. I like that. What about this side? Couldn't decide, so I had to do as many Halloween colors as possible. And technically, one of you mentioned red, and technically I used red because we mixed their red and yellow together. Which, to be honest, I can't tell that I had to go remix and use that. So that worked out perfectly. This is really cool, too. I don't to, think I'm just going to start wearing my hair. Hair like this. I think that we should look at it in the black light like this. I'm clipping it up like this. This is adorable. We're doing a Halloween makeover, guys. Look at these bows I have. Are you kidding me? <sighs> yeah. Oh, this is so freaking cute. Look at the colors. Like just having it up in this little bun. Is it just me? Am I alone in this? This is awesome. way I've been looking at like you know those multi-tools where there's like six things it's got the diffuser and like the barrel rollers and you know it has like the cold air shot to help with like heat damage and now that I have bangs I really want to get a styler and I almost got like the Revlon the Revlon one off Amazon but then I'm like well with that price I could spend $30 more and get like a hot tool but I'm not in the market to spend like you know the like the Dyson shark area like I'll, I'll set that as like a goal and see how I am with like 
a different one. So if you guys have any tips on any kind of stylers or stuff that are really like decent on your hair, uh, I'm just kind of over laying straightener. It doesn't really, it seems like it kind of honestly does more heat damage than good. Um, because I thought that that would be better than a hair straightener, but I'm going to show you guys this in the UV neon and yeah, let me know if you guys have like a favorite style or anything. Otherwise, I just really like using the the Velcro roller just because I just set it right up in there. I don't have to clip it. It just sits in my hair. So that's been kind of nice. So let me show it to you in the UV light here. And if you like this video or you like the vibes here, I do hope that you subscribe and keep hanging out. I already have so many ideas for November, it's not even funny. I already bought like a new wig, we're gonna do another hair transformation, and it's just gonna be non-stop, so. This might be my favorite hair we've done so far. I'm not sure though. I thought it was the holographic hair, but now that I've actually had time to kind of look at it with you guys, I really like it. <laughs> I was on the fence about this like all day, I kid you not. Much love, can't wait to see what you guys think. I hope you comment below. And um, I am going to be ordering some more underground cosmetics hair dye so we can check out their bold colors and stuff as well. And I also want to get some more of their black. So any other votes on what hair colors you want me to try from their company before we move on to try a different one, let me know. All of their colors in their entire line are neon UV reactive except for their black. So that's about it. I'm going to show it to you in the black light, which is really cool now because we actually have like a black light hallway because of Halloween. And so now I don't have to mess with that. Stupid black light I had, which so exciting. Much love, everyone. Thanks for being here. Hair color therapy wins again. Look at our mannequin head, guys. Look at. Doesn't this look cool out here? Have a beautiful day.